Hey everybody, welcome back to the Rare Barrel channel. We are excited to have you here with us and we are, Ben and I, just came back from a hunt. Not just, this happened last week, but we're now going to taste all of the uh, picks that we got. It's like a... It's a haul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A haul of sorts. A bourbon haul. Yes. And we'll be trying all of our uh, treasure, or whatever they call it. Yeah. All of our booty. So, first out of the gate, uh, peerless double oaked. Mm. Mm. Bourbon. Bourbon. Very, I was very excited when we found this. It was, uh, it's been on the list to get for a long time. It sure has. I remember you talking about it earlier, wanting to find it. And it was actually, it, was, it wasn't too hard to find, but it was kind of a surprise. That's yeah, when sure. we walked in there and it was on the shelf, I was like, what? Yeah. Got that caramel right caramel. out of the gate. Very sweet. Whew. Very nice on the nose. Not too heavy, not too much power right up front, but. This one comes in at uh, 109.6 proof. Mmm. Ooh. That's good. Oaky, oaky, oaky. You get that oak for sure, but it's like a sweet oak. Sweet oak. Sweet oak. It's not dry or anything. No. It does not dry you out. It actually makes you uh, salivate. Absolutely. It's so good. Yeah. Whew. The aftertaste is really good too. Mm. Really great finish. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, the oak, the oak really sits in the back of your throat for a little bit. Yep. But doesn't stay for too long, you know what I mean? Right, to where it's annoying. Where it's annoying, yeah. That's good. That's Ooh. really good. I dig that one a lot. Mm. Peerless double oak! Boom. The first of our finds that, not like in that order. Yeah. We found it whenever we found it. Yeah. I that Number two. Old Forester. Old Forester. Single barrel, barrel strength. This one's coming in at 132.8 proof. Yes, please. Sweet yes, please. baby Jesus. Yes. Let's go. Also, you can't really smell the proof too much. You can no. smell that it. it's proofy, but not one. Yeah, it's not hitting you no. with the ethanol. Right. Ooh, yep. I've been in search of a bottle yeah. of barrel proof Old Forester that has the banana that bread. Banana. Uh, whatever. And this one's got it on the nose. Haven't tried it yet. But man, I'm hoping. <laughs> it's insane! <laughs> it's so crazy. It's so... Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I love it. It's light. And it's like a fluffy banana bread. Yes. Like if you could think of like a moist angel cake, but yeah. with banana bread in there. Oh, it's so perfect. I'm going for it. Do it. I'm following. I'm backing you up. That's got some, that's a spicy pickle. That's a spicy pickle. Wow. Way towards the back is oak. Yes. Just for a little bit though. Yep. Really quick. For a brief moment on the front, after or before the proof hit me, mm -hmm. I got the banana. Dang. Like just for a second. Now I'm really smelling it. Now that I've got it. Yeah, on I can the taste it. I now, can taste now smell it again. It's just big. <laughs> it's That's big so good. There. Wow. Wow, that is so crazy to be able to smell that and then have that transfer onto the palate so well. Yep. Oh man, that second sip was nuts. It's so good. Meaning, kind of like a banana nut bread. I got a little bit of banana and Word. a little bit of like a nut, like a peanut. Wow. I can't get that peanut, but dang, that's good. That's that's one tasty one. That's fire. What was uh, the proof point on that again? This one was uh, 132.8. For even being 132, it's not like 
killing me. No, yeah. So like when I drink the Elijah Craig B uh, 523, yeah. It's a lower proof than this, but it hits me harder. Yeah. Like in the in the mouth. It's yeah. like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. There's just so much electricity there. Yeah. This, but with this, it's just smooth. Oh my gosh. It had a nice tickle around the edge of the yeah. edge of the tongue, but not like <clears throat> that was good. Fire old forester. Nice work. We'd love to see nice that. Nice work on that one. And uh Yeah. Now we're on to Bernheim Original. Kentucky Straight Wheat Whiskey. This one's got uh, 120.4 proof. Right on. This is a uh, B923, so I'm guessing there's two ver two releases of sure, this. Sure, sure. Maybe one in the beginning of the year and one in the end. Okay. A wheat whiskey. A wheat. A wheat. 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 Whiskey. Tons of vanilla. Lots. Very Tons sweet. of caramel. Very sweet. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. My first sip, I just got a lot of sweet oak. Sweet oak, maybe a little bit of honey in the front. Oh yeah. I'll have to hit that again. Oh, now I'm tongue. smelling the honey like crazy. Did you get, yeah. in, my, did you get in my head? <laughs> oh, yeah. Just coats the tongue. That is so good. That time I got like a, just a hint of like a chocolate. Yes. Would you say like in the mid? Yes. Yes, 100%. Yep. I didn't know what that was, so... Yeah. <laughs> that was nuts. Wow. It was just a quick burst of chocolate as it came across the mid yes. palate. Mm. That's good stuff too. That's super good. It's um, maybe not like the best, best, best whiskey that maybe I've ever had, but it's just no. a super solid, yep. solid whiskey. It tastes if you're, good. Yeah, when, you, when you're looking for like wheat, wheat whiskey, mm -hmm. like it's different if it's weeded bourbon versus wheat whiskey. Yeah. So weeded bourbon just has, instead of generally, instead of a rye, they'll use a wheat. Sure. But it's still 51% corn to make it a bourbon. So okay. this is not a bourbon. Sure. It is a wheat whiskey. So generally your weeded bourbons will just be a smoother feel. This one's just all sorts of vanilla Man. and honey and sweetness. Sweetness. That's just amazing. Coats that tongue. Next. On your side, we have the Willet Purple Top Weeded Eight Year Bourbon. So this is where we'd get the weeded bourbon. Yep. Well, instead of the rye, they've got wheat. Aged eight years. What do we got for proof? Proof! What do we got for proof, Ben? We have 108 proof. That's not bad. Still the aged bottle. Willet Distillery. Oh yeah, Congrats. there it is. <clears throat> This, the old nose, the old schnoz. <laughs> Woo! There it is. If you don't get grape when you uh... man, that is grapey. <laughs> if you don't get that, goodness, that is just delicious smelling. Fruit for days. Wow! Mainly wow, grape. Wow. Just in your face, yep. off the first smell, grape, maybe a little bit of plum, grapey plum. Yep. But gosh, so beautiful. Oh, right onto the palate. Man, that I is so great. I didn't even have to swallow. I just let some air in and I could just oh. get that grape. It's like a grape candy, like a grape nerds almost. Oh, like a nerds. Yeah. 100%. Wow. That's Jeez. interesting. Powerful, grapey nerds. Knowing that we got that banana in that old Forester, yep. and then getting such a strong grape in this is just That's such crazy. a crazy contrast. Purple top. Purple grape. top. Purple grape. grape. Purple, purple. Purple, purple grapes. Purple purple. <laughs> purple purple. <laughs> 
Oh, it's just so good. Yeah, I can't get over this. And it's good. smooth. It's so smooth. A little lightning right on the tip of the tongue. Mm -hmm. it stays there, honestly, for a little bit of the aftertaste, which is a nice yep. feeling. It's just right there, not crazy. Wow. That's gangster. That is one beautiful weeded bourbon. Mm. I'd like to put this one up against like a Antique 107. Oh, right on. S relatively similar proof points, both yeah. weeded bourbons. Both have that like fruity note. Pretty fruity, yep. Okay. That one I don't know that, I don't think the antique is as fruity, but it's, and it's a different fruit. Okay. Note for me. Sure. But it'd be cool to put them next to each other to right see what it's like. Yeah, I don't think I've had that one, so. That would be cool. try it. Absolutely. Last but not least. Last, but certainly not least. We found ourselves a Woodford Reserve Masters but. Collection. Sonoma Triple Finish. That's right, Sonoma Triple Finish. What does Sonoma Triple Finish mean? So, Sonoma is obviously a place in California. It sure is. Well known for its uh, vineyards. Mm. And so many times when finishing bourbon, they'll use wine, wine casks. And these specific ones are from Sonoma. Fire. Not only that, but I heard that one, there's like three different types of barrels that they're aging this in. And one of them is barrels that had bourbon in it and then were used to age wine. And then again, used to age this or that finish this. Sick. So that's kind of cool. That's creative. A little bit of a circle on that one. All right, let's get into it. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. First, <laughs> hold on. I Tell me if I'm wrong, but right when I was bringing my nose to this, I got like a vanilla and yep. and, and um, brown sugar, yes. maples. Yes, all that. What? That is nuts. I've never smelled something like this. Wow. That is so good. Holy. Okay, when I tell you the vanilla is so strong yes. in the nose. Gosh, that smells delicious. And that brown sugar, I love, love that. that. Oh. On the front of the palate, it was almost like a cookie dough. Yes, like a cookie. <laughs> yes. Like a, wow. I was thinking like a sugar cookie. And then it, then you really start, as it starts to dissipate, you feel that wine, that yes. grit, that. Oh, okay. A hundred percent. Yes. And I'm getting a, a small, like, wine aftertaste. Yes. Just a small one, though. That's good. That is insane. Wow, I Holy love that. Holy cow. You guys, you gotta check this out. If you can get yeah. your hands on this, this is something really special. Like, it is. And it's got like that bread note now, even on the nose. Yep. Vanilla, bread, Vanilla brown sugar. sugar. Brown sugar. I can see where you're coming from with the bread. It's just a light undertone Butter, of that bread under there. Yeah, you guys, if you get a chance, if you, you see it. this, you definitely gotta pick this up. Sonoma Triple Finish. That is good. I gotta have some more of that. Mm. Yes. Oh, that's so good! <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that is so good! Yes, please. What a haul! That was a great hunt, a great haul. All of these were all just like shocker surprises. Yeah. It was crazy. I'm excited that we were able to find all of them. Yeah, this is going cool. to be a great lineup for Thanksgiving and Christmas as we roll into that season, the holiday season. These are going to be the bourbons that, uh, man. They're gonna be warming our hearts here 100%. at the Rare Barrel Studios. Mm. Mm. That was tasty. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and taking a ride through all of these bourbons that we had found on our latest hunt. Um, make sure and like and subscribe to the channel. We are continuing to grow this channel and we've got some exciting things planned in the future. So your support is very much appreciated and we will see you in the next video. Peace.